Don't sleep on Matt Dumba is what I'd say if oh, I were the Tampa Bay Lightning. I'd need to know what you are referring to. Uh, well, I'm right now I'm going to refer to sleep breakthrough for just a second yes. before we talk about the Matt, Matt Dumba trade. We've already told you it's the all-natural formula that provides the body with the precursors to melatonin. And melatonin makes you do what, Steve? Sleep. Do, do, the, do your... That's it. Yeah, and it's a it's a um it's a natural formula. So this approach helps regulate dependency, downregulation, and negative side effects commonly associated with sleep supplements, such as the sleep hangover, which makes you feel just as tired as if you didn't sleep at all. You don't want that, right? You want to wake up refreshed. Try Sleep Breakthrough. We highly recommend it, and it's a game changer in terms of your sleep, and it's going to be a game changer in your life. Visit buyoptimizers.com slash dangle and use the promo code dangle during checkout to save 10%. Now, Steve Dangle, dangle. does not know what Matt Dumba was traded for. No. And this is going to be fun. Did you say who? Like who he was traded to? Oh, yeah, Tampa. Oh, there you go. So he's going to Tampa. Interesting. Last week, Dave Pagnotta said that teams looking to upgrade their fourth uh, their uh, their blue line will probably have to start with, with guys like Tanev, Walker, and Dumba. The asking price starts with a first-round pick. As a half-cake eater, I'm offended by you saying... Peñota. Peñota. Okay, so... Pagnata. So, a week ago, <laughs> Tanev, Walker were first-round picks. That was the ask. Now, we know Walker did go for a first. We know Tanev did go for a second. What did Matt Dumba go for? Just guess, Steve. Uh, the theme of deadline day today has been third round picks. I'm going to say a third round pick. And that would be a really intelligent guess. Uh, Matt Dumba and a seventh round pick in 2025 to the Tampa Bay Lightning in exchange for a fifth round pick in 27. And no retention. <laughs> oh my God, dude. A fi These prices are basement. Oh, my goodness. I mean, if you're... Okay. Sorry, you, Jesse. I, I thought you'd already seen it. I didn't know that you were being... I did. I did. It's just... It's hard to hear. You can question the fit in Tampa. Um, we, you can't question the price. No, exactly. Like, d for that price, who gives a crap if he's even in the lineup? You're doing a pick swap of something like a pick in the 190s, 200s for something off the top of my head, like one. 50-ish? Dumba and a seventh for a fifth. Yeah. In 2027. Wait. Troy Stetcher was a fourth. Yes. Wasn't Labushkin a was a third and a sixth. But you had to the double Ed retain. Edmonton got Stetcher and a seventh from Arizona for a fourth round pick. Yeah. So Dumba went for less? Yes. It the, the, Holy this season, cow! They're, they're this season was a buyer's market. <laughs> this deadline was a buyer's market, and you would have got a better deal the longer you waited. You would have yep. got it. I mean, look at. I mean, Edmondson. What was the Edmondson deal? A third and a fifth. A th I think it might have been a six, or was Labushkin a six? Labushkin was a third and a fifth. Uh, Labushkin was a third and a six. Edmondson's a third and a fifth, and it cost one fifth. For Matt Dumba. I mean, those prices seem pretty expensive when you consider. Holy crap! This dude. Well, I mean, that's that's nothing. You could be the biggest detractor of Matt Dumba. You could hate his game. You shouldn't even be in the NHL. And this would still be a worthwhile price. Uh, the Lightning oh. are miles removed from Tanner Genoville. Not to make this about the Leafs, but this looks awful on Brad Living. Well, I mean, there's a few guys it doesn't look the greatest on. But like, I mean, the theme of the day has been deals where, you know, we're a little underwhelmed by it, but we're like, ah, the risk is nothing because the cost was nothing. Exactly. This is the most nothing, nothing of them all. Um, and I think I have something for the nothing. Uh, John uh, Gambadoro uh, tweets, the Coyotes deal with Tampa for Dumba is for a pick swap in the later rounds, which is a better way of putting it, saves the Coyotes a couple million bucks as well. That's what it is. So it's real dollars. Dude, you look at it's, Zucker. It's you the look Zucker at deal. It's the Zucker deal. They just don't make me pay for this. You got a don't fifth, make me pay for this. You got a fifth, seventh pick swap for Dumba, and you got a sixth for Zucker. And they signed them so that they could harvest picks and prospects, and they didn't get them. Uh, no, no. At the beginning of the season, we were under the impression they signed them to compete. For God's sake. Well, that's what the Twitter account probably told you. That's what <laughs> I believed. 
That's what I, oh, that Twitter account is sassy. They're sassy. And now they're up to God knows how many picks. Dude, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're just going to do this. The oh. team's a bit of a slap in the face to like competitiveness in the National Hockey League. For what, I mean, yeah, what, the, they, what they're doing here. They get more fans in a college rink than they did in Glendale, which is definitely the the uh, the flex that you think it is. Dude, it's it's that's it's disgraceful. It's disgraceful. Disgraceful franchise. It's uh it's going to be very interesting to see the fallout from that. Um huh. but yeah, I listen Tampa loading up. Yeah, good for them. Like good for Tampa. For yeah. nothing. That's a that's a great piece of work by Julian Breezeball. Uh Duclair for peanuts, shit all and Dumba for somehow less. That's <laughs> that's pretty good. Tidy work.